Hello everyone, I am Alia Dhawan from Ira Smart Start. Today we are going to start our first chapter on this channel which is Algebra for Class 6th. Let's start. Let's review a concept which would help us in our chapter further which is components used to describe math. So components used to describe math are numbers, geometry, word problems and equations so numbers we all know is 1 2 3 4 5 6 and so on geometry are symbols representing numbers for example i have given here one star which represents the number one and two star represents the number two the third component is word problems which is nothing but math questions described by sentences for an example alia has three apples and naira has two apples how many apples do we have uh, have in all so the answer would be we have five apples why because we decode the language and we know that we have to add two plus three which is nothing but five right and the fourth one is equation which is very important in this chapter and we are going to learn how to solve it too. So let's learn about arithmetic which is nothing but it consists of only four operations which is addition, subtraction, multiplication and division which we already know. While solving problems related to arithmetic the only thing that is unknown to you is the answer of the problem. In algebra, it introduces a new element. When you don't know a certain value in algebra, we use a symbol. Instead of it, we usually use any letter of the alphabet. So while solving an arithmetic problem, for, for an example, let's take our apples and oranges, which would be 2 plus 3. So the only thing unknown to you here is the sum of the problem, is the answer to the problem, right? But if you talk about algebra, it introduces a new element. You don't know a certain value in the operation, okay? And it is represented by a letter instead of a symbol. Okay, arithmetic versus algebra. Arithmetic, in arithmetic, the only thing we don't know is answer to the problem. And in algebra, it introduces a new element. This is going to be really, really easy too and simple. But I have put pictures for you to have a clear picture in mind that what algebra and arithmetic looks like. Let's talk about an important term or uh, definition in this chapter, which is equation. Equation is nothing but a mathematical statement which says two things are equal. Okay, so uh, for an example, 2 plus 3 is equals to 5. Here, the equal to sign says that it is an equation. And in, e in an equation, equal to sign is a really, really important element too. Now, let's go through the rules to solve an equation which would help us further. So the first rule to solve an equation is same symbol or letter can be used in different algebraic problems for different unknown values. For an example, 1 plus 2 is equal to x. Here we simply know that x is equal to 3, right? But in another problem, x may not always be 3. 8 plus x is equal to 10. Here x is equals to 2. And this tells us that x may not always be the same in every problem right it is a variable and it can vary from a equation to another rule 2 any symbol cannot be used to represent different values in the same equation at a time for an example x plus x is equal to 10 here there are many pa pairs that can add up to 10 right like 6 plus 4 or 7 plus 3 or 5 plus 5 but here x cannot represent two different numbers okay x cannot re represent two different numbers like 6 and 4 if we need to represent two different numbers in the same equation we have to use two different symbols like x and y okay here is a very important thing that if any equation a symbol is used more than one time then it is sharing the same value like in this case x can be 5 to solve the equation 
So this is really really important. If you want to represent two different numbers in an equation as a variable, you need to put two different variables in an equation. One variable cannot stand for two different values. Rule number three, two different symbols can represent one value at a time. Example x plus y is equal to two. Here x and y can hold the same value at a time. So here basically what they are trying to say is x plus y is equal to two. So here there are many pairs that can add up to two like zero plus two and two plus zero and one plus one. But this rule says that x and y can hold different values like 0 and 2 but they may not hold the same value right they can hold the value of 1 plus 1 also please don't confuse this problem and the last one it's really really simple it tells us that two variables can represent one value but one variable cannot represent two different values in an equation at the same time Now here are important things to keep in mind. This problem tells us that there are many possible solutions for the same equation as if X holds value of one, then Y needs to hold the value of one two to add up to two, right? We cannot have different values in the same equation, but we can have different values as we keep changing the equation. As the value of X changes, the value of Y can change or vary. In this equation, both X and Y are variables. Okay, let's learn about an important concept in this chapter before moving on to variables. So this is constant. So what is a constant? A constant is a value or a number that never changes in an equation. It constantly holds the same value okay for an example 5 now 5 is a constant because it is what it is right because its face value is its value also and its value never changes but variables are things which can vary from equation to equation like a plus b is equal to 3 so here a has many possibilities and b has many possibilities too right they can vary from equation to equation also. So they are not constant. They are variables. Let's go on to variables. Variable is a letter representing some unknown. A variable always re represents a number, but it carries different values in an equation. By convention, mathematicians usually assign letters at the end of the alphabet such as W, X, Y, Z to be variables. All algebraic expressions and terms consist of at least one variable. So basically, the thing here is that variable is a letter or a number representing a number. For an example, two plus a equals to 3 so here a is equals to 1 right but a can vary from equation to equation okay and all algebraic e expressions consist of at least one variable A term is a regrouping together of one or more factors. An expression is a combination of values and operations that can be used to show how things belong together and compare against each other. Okay, example 2x raised by 2 plus 3xy plus 4xy raised by 2 and 5z. If variables are same, even if they have different numerical coefficients, they can be added as normal numbers. So don't worry, seeing the words like numerical coefficients had scared me before too. 
but it's really really simple with an example right so let's see an example which is 8x plus 9x plus 6y can be written as 17x plus 6y now you may be thinking how 8x 9x plus 6y had changed to 17x plus 6y where did the 8x and 9x go right so if you pay attention here that 8x and 9x have the same variable right which due to which we can add them as normal numbers so if we add the we we just ignore the variable for some time we add the numbers and then we put the variable so then when we get this number we replace it by the numbers which we added in the equation so that's how 18x plus 9x plus 6y changed to 17x plus 6y so here's a really really important thing to learn which is like and unlike terms So what are like terms? Like terms basically have the same variable. Like we saw 8x and 9x, which is 17x. How could we change it 8x and 9x to 17x? Because they had the same variable, right? Because they are like terms, they have the same variable. So like terms are nothing, but they have the same variable. Let's go to unlike terms, which is 17x and 6y, right? Here, variables are not the same, and so they are called unlike terms because they have different variables. Always remember, it's not dislike terms, it's unlike terms. Example to summarize the concept. Here is a really, really simple example, which might seem scary right now, but don't worry, we are going to simplify this by following some simple and sim really simple steps so here we are going to sort out the like terms first which would be 2xy and 5xy which e equals to 7xy and we replace 2xy and 5xy by 7xy in the expression for this in the same way we have regrouped the second set of like terms which is now 20x raised by 2 after simplifying our algebraic expression is 7x plus 20x plus 5y raised by 2 see this is really really simple we have converted or simplified this big expression into this expression now this is a really really important concept which I hope would be really clear after we go through. So we are going to learn about monomial, binomial, trinomial, and polynomial. So monomial is an expression having only one unlike term. Binomial is expression having two unlike terms. The expression having three unlike terms is called trinomial and the expression which is having beyond 3 is called polynomial. Now here's an example to clear, clear, make sure the concept is really really clear which is 35xy, 45x, 5, uh, 5y raised by 2 and 25xyz. So here if we see, uh, if we regroup them we cannot because there are no like terms in this expression and the unlike terms are beyond 4 so that means it's a polynomial right and then 7xy 20x raised by 2 and 5y raised by 2 has 3 unlike terms and so it's trinomial here 87xy has only one unlike term right so that's why it's a monomial. Here are key points to solve an equation. If you have an equation that has an unknown value in it, below are the steps to solve an equation. Rearrange the equation with unknown values on one side of the equal to sign and the numbers on the other side. 
here are examples to make it really simple so the first example is x plus 7 equals to 15 so the solution goes like um, it has x plus 7 right so the we have to inverse the operation as they are adding 7 to x we have to subtract 7 from x and here's a really important rule to solve any equation that if you do something to one part or to the one side of the equal to sign which is we subtracted 7 then we need to do the same exact thing to the other side also otherwise our expression would turn out to be a wrong one simply after this 7 minus 7 gives us 0 that means 7 does not count and x is equal to 15 minus 7 which is nothing but 8 now here's how to check your answer to check your answer replace the unknown value of the equation with the new value found right so 8 plus 7 is 15 this tells us that our equation that we just solved is correct so here 40 is equal to 25 plus x in this expression the only thing that is different from the previous one is that we have x on the right side of the equation or we have a variable on the right side of the equation but does not really matter we can solve it really quick and easily so here they are adding 25 to x right so to get uh, to bring 25 to 0 we just subtract 25 from 25 and if we do something to the right side of the equation we have to do it on the left side too right so 45 minus 25 is nothing but x and x is nothing but 15 now to check our answer we will replace x by 15 and it tells us that our answer is correct so our solution to the equation is also correct okay here's a really simple equation which is x minus 10 is equal to 16 here they have subtracted 10 from x so we just simply add 10 to x right so if we add 10 to x we have to add 10 on to 16 also so it tells us that x is nothing but 16 plus 10 so x is equal to 26 now let's try to check it so we replace x with 26 minus 10 and that is equals to 16 which tells us that our answer is correct